this is my Roblox game, and it's completely normal. Until it gets dark. Then it gets a little not normal. Let me explain. I spent the last few weeks making a Roblox game with an endless liminal neighborhood, three unique puzzles, multiple secrets, and terrifying monsters. Then I had hundreds of my fans play it, and I didn't tell them anything about it. But before we get to all that, you're probably asking why. And to answer that, we have to go back. I had just uploaded a video where I made a bathrooms game and then trapped random Roblox players in it when I decided to take a look at some of the comments. You need to leave. Yeah, apparently it wasn't scary enough. I don't know about you, but these guys are pretty freaky to me. So, here's the plan. I had to make a scary game, except it needed to be really scary. And I needed to disguise it as a normal game so nobody would see it coming. There wasn't any time to waste, so my friend Tanker and I started working on the map. It's been a week, but I built most of the game. And it's actually a lot bigger than it looks at first. But now for the most important part, the thing that'll set the entire mood of the game and keep players on the edge of their seat. The monsters. Yeah, so I made those two. And there's actually three of them, but you'll see these other two later on. This is the main one. You can call it whatever you want. Goblin, Grimbly, Gremlin, uh, Monster Works 2. Basically, they just wandered the map at night. But trust me, it's a lot scarier than it sounds at first. Alright, I'm gonna try and legitimately survive these creatures. I hear one. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Okay. He's gaining on me. Where'd he go? Dude, there's a freak chasing after me. Oh my god! There's also a lot more to the game, like this weird phone, which gives hints throughout the game. But I won't spoil anything else. My brother and I hopped in the game and opened it up to fans. Keep in mind, they have no idea what to expect. So we hopped in the game and got ready to start it. Alright, wait, I'm gonna look at all the all the characters that we got here waiting. Yo, this guy stole my drip! Alright, whatever dude, just start the game. Start the teleporter. My, 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 my. Oh, what? A normal town. Dude, these guys- I'm Kanye Way. Dude, Kanye West is in here. So everything started off well. You may have also noticed that there's a huge wall around the middle, so people have no idea what's beyond it. For now, there's a lot players have to explore. Like the sign and flashlight building, where players can grab a sign that can be placed anywhere around the map. And a flashlight for when it gets dark. People are like forming groups. What? What does this even mean, dude? We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been changed. If you feel that guy just said nope. Stop! Please, please stop! This is torture. Yeah, so players are pretty interesting, to say the least. Poo poo fart. Hey, get out of my room. <laughs> Dude, what is going on here? These people aren't real. And it was nearing time to drop the wall and reveal a big secret on the other side. But first, we gotta take a look at everyone's favorite part. The vending machine. Oh my god, dude, the waffles got him! But there was some slow progress being made. Some people started to form groups and others explored the few buildings they could access. But I didn't want people to get too comfortable, so it was time to drop the wall. Three, two, one. And this marked the start of day one. Day one is pretty chill. People now had a huge new area to explore and not a lot of time. People don't realize it, but the sun is slowly moving and it's gonna be setting soon. Most people stuck to a big group and explored as much as they could together. But pretty quickly as the sun began to go down, some people started to get separated. And some players started to worry. What are people saying? It's 4 p.m. now. We must step back if we don't And some players even took flight. Oh! Some kept exploring, some barricaded themselves in houses, and others stayed close to the middle. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting dark. But it didn't really matter because it was getting dark. People are running back as the sun's going down. And before they knew it, it was dark. And they have no idea what they're in for. The hunt is on. Oh, they! I think they're going to see it.
So I hate to interrupt this super dramatic moment, but I should probably explain a bit more first. These monsters are super fast, and the only safe place for them is indoors, so you definitely don't want to get caught outside. Oh, and the monsters also make random noises. Yeah, you're probably gonna hear that a lot. You may also notice the red dots, which show me where all the monsters are. But nobody else can see them. They have no idea what's happening. People pretty quickly noticed the monsters outside, and most of them took shelter. Yeah, these people are hiding in the house, like, barricading it up. They've got the light turned- Oh, they just turned off the light. This is horrible. <laughs> and some people even took the risk to go outside during the night. I'm gonna find more people. If I don't come back. Stream my new album, Vultures. <laughs> yes, yay! Oh! In Kanye way. So, there was a monster. <laughs> that was a valiant effort, but it lasted like 10 seconds. So the night went on with most people hiding from the monsters. Stop. The night sure feels longer than the day. And right as people started to get impatient, the sun started to rise. And right as it did, the phone started to ring. Two hundred fifty eight o'clock section four. Two hundred fifty eight o'clock section four. And this marks the start of day two. This is where things start to get really interesting. And you're probably pretty confused, so let me explain. Every morning, the phone rings and reveals the location of the next puzzle. Today's puzzle is number 250 in section 4, which doesn't mean much unless you notice a sign, which happens to be an entire map of the town. As well, every house has a mailbox in front of it with a number, and this is the one they need to find today. But it wasn't going to be easy. Most players notice a sign, and they agree that they should search for the number 250. I know. Where is section 4? And eventually, they did find it. In the wrong section. <laughs> Yeah, this is the right one, and you can tell because of the blue dot I put above it. I'm the only one that can see that. I just can't remember where I put stuff in my own game. But after a little while, some people found the right house. Oh yeah, this guy found it. And Dragon Slayer found it. And everyone else was, uh, not figuring it out. How did he die? Very sad. And as the day went on, pretty much everyone stayed at the wrong house. Except for these guys. And it stayed like this until the day came to an end. Now, you're probably wondering what this first puzzle is, but I'll just let you see for yourself. Tell him to bring out the monster! Yes, sir! Tell him to bring out the monster! Ah, look at these babies! So, it quickly got dark and there were four people in the right house. And right as it reached 8pm, this happened. Oh, look! The other person! And now, they were all trapped inside puzzle one. So I'll explain this really quick. Puzzle 1 is just a basic backrooms map and it's the easiest of all the puzzles. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is grab this key from the vending machine and find the exit door. But there's also these monsters crawling around. And they're usually not much of a threat unless you don't see them coming. The four of them ran around until they eventually came across the exit door. And yeah, it's still locked. Then they all ran off in separate directions until this guy, we'll call him Spare, was the first to get to the vending machine. He grabbed the key and ran to let everybody else know. And then he ran to the exit door. We all need one. So they ran off in search of the key. And they actually managed to find it pretty quick. After they all grabbed the key, they made their way back to the exit door and joined Spare in being the first to escape Puzzle 1. As for everybody else... Dude, there's so many people on the wrong house roof still. Yeah, they were still on the wrong roof. And there were still only a few people at the correct one. Although after a while when nothing had happened, people on the wrong roof started to realize that they were doing something wrong. And they agreed they needed to do something. Sensor 4! Go to Sensor 4! But they were surrounded by monsters. Yeah, this one had become their friend somehow, but this one was out to get anybody that jumped down. But they had no other choice. <laughs> Oh, they're starting to run, but there's tons of monsters. It's chasing them. Oh my god, two people have died. People ran off in every direction, and only a few others were able to find the right house. At this point, everyone got really split up, and it was pure chaos. Oh, he oh no, he didn't make it in time. No. No. 
But some progress is being made in Puzzle 1. Nom, nom, nom. Meet host Chromatic and Zack. They're part of a small group that ended up finding their way to the first puzzle as well. Besides them, almost nobody else got the key. Oh yeah, and remember this person who was part of the first group to get the key? Oh, they just died! That was one of the people who had the keys! You're probably wondering why I'm making such a big deal about the keys, but you might need them later on. Everyone else was just hiding in the cheeseburger shack, I guess. Guys, if you didn't know, you need to go to section 4. So, the night continued on with most people remaining hiding. And then the sun started to rise. Yep, there go the lights. So, they stood near the phone and waited. And it took a little bit, but the next hint came in. 350, 8 o'clock, section 2. Dude, they're already running in that direction! It was now day 3, and players already knew what to do. They ran over to section 2, and... This is the street that it's on. Went, went past the house? I just can't do it, I can't- Dude, there's one person all alone, and they're in the completely wrong side of the map. That's so funny. This is true liminal space, he's just all alone. But pretty quickly, this guy Pylon found the right house. Black Pocket! And he wanted to let everyone else know. Over here! Look, they're all going past it still. But as the day went on, more and more people were able to find the right house. And it was at this point, people started to realize that they missed the first puzzle. We're gaming. I got that key. These nerds haven't progressed. Where did you get the key? Oh. Players were kind of just hanging around at the house all day. Okay, gang. So this is where almost everybody spent the day. Except for these people who, uh, you guessed it, they went to the wrong section. The day went by quick with everyone waiting for the next puzzle to open up. And after not long at all, the sun began to set. They didn't know it yet, but this puzzle is a lot harder than the first one. Oh, there goes the first one. They're all starting. So this is the second puzzle, the pool rooms. It's got the same freak running around as the town, but there's a lot fewer places to hide here. And it didn't start well at all. <laughs> yeah, this one is a lot more difficult, and people had no idea what to do. Five. So that guy actually figured it out pretty quick. Hidden around the puzzle are four secret compartments that reveal a number to a code. And once you have all four numbers, you can enter the code next to the puzzle. But it's really not that easy. Dude, I might need to nerf this one. Yeah, I wasn't too confident anyone was gonna beat it, but some people were determined. Yeah, there's a few people still alive that are slowly figuring it out. So they slowly began to figure out the code, but not without trouble. Oh, more people, oh! And even Spare got cornered by the monster. What's that noise? Yeah, we lost a real one today. Comment the bowling emoji to show your respect. But the rest of the players weren't giving up, and they started searching everywhere they could. They all compared what they'd found, and they realized that they only needed one more number. One more. But after a while, they were still left with only three numbers. They had no choice but to guess. Do you have it? Any of you? Nothing. Nope. We have to guess. Time 5871. Try 5870 first. Nope. But they kept on trying, and eventually they got to their third attempt. I did 5872. You do. Three. And this happened. They ran into the hallway as fast as they could and picked up the key to the exit door. Wait! Oh no! I we left the Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. Oh, never mind. He's good. You're alive. Yelp. So a few people actually ended up beating Puzzle Two, and for everybody else who went to the wrong house, uh, well, <laughs> Kanye is dead. Manana, Ohio. May I be told that freedom doesn't take a toll? Those who have fallen, thank you for your sacrifice. Yeah, I really have no idea what happened. Wait, shouldn't the monsters die at five? Chromatic was right. The sun was beginning to rise. What the... The sun... It was...
is now day four and time for the final hint. So everyone began to make their way over to the phone, and they picked it up and listened. 100. And the mailbox 100. they need just so happens to be right behind them. <laughs> Welcome to Puzzle 3. And this one has entirely new monsters. Monsters under us. Dude, are they gonna run? Oh, they're running for it! And the only way out is this long cave. And somehow even Chromatic made his way down. But I should really explain this first. Remember when I said the keys were important? Well, to get past this puzzle, you need one from puzzle one and one from puzzle two. And if you don't have both, there's no way out. So they all tried to figure out what to do, but only these guys had the keys. But Hose was actually able to make it out. Oh, he got it, he got it! And everyone else just had to run. Mm. Lab key. Help, I'm stuck. So, Hose and Pylon were back at the mailbox. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Pylon, but Hose has the lab key, which is for the final part of the game. But first, let's see how everyone else is doing in Puzzle 3. Guys, the scratch! I will combat! I promise! I will find your way! The game is broken! Enough enough! They just got the key. Well, he did. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine down there. But now it's time for the final part. This is the lab building, and if you've been looking in the background, you might have noticed it. But up until now, it's been locked. Oz and EJ both had the lab key, and Pylon followed them in. Oh. Yeah, so this is the grand finale of the entire game. There's a computer in the center of the room that gives you two options. Teleport the monsters and destroy the monsters. But both can't be done until nighttime. But now they're gonna have to wait until the nighttime. So they decided to wait. Time's going. I guess we just stay here. Well, let me touch buttons. I has to do with the PC. All we really can do is wait until night. Maybe that's it. And they did exactly that, until it got dark. Sun is down. And they teleported the monsters. No! They're dead! It's over. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any mm -hmm. messages? I nearly had a heart attack from this game. 10 out of 10.